Devils. We'll get to the first half story of this Portland-Denver game in just a bit, but of much more importance right now is the news out of New York, where former NBA Commissioner David Stern has been hospitalized. The NBA released the following statement, which said Stern suffered a sudden brain hemorrhage today and underwent emergency surgery. Our thoughts and prayers, the statement reads, are with David and his family. Stern's 30-year run as commissioner began in 1984, and in 2014 he stepped down, replaced by Adam Silver. This was the commissioner during all of your careers, and one of the best commissioners in all of sports in that 30-year tenure. Well, I think that, for me personally, he's meant a great deal, because when I was younger, I did a lot of stupid things, and it's terrifying to go in his office. Uh, he ran a tight ship when he got you in there, but at the meeting, he would always tell you, Hey, you got to learn from this, grow and mature. And I think that people see all the money in sports today, think that it was always like that. When I got to the NBA in, in 1984, which was commissioner's first year, the average salary was $250,000. Uh, it's almost $9 million now. And he is largely responsible for that. Uh, and I, I, every time I saw him, I just saw him at the Hall of Fame. I told him, thank you very much. Even when he was giving it to me, he did it like a father figure. So I got nothing but love and respect for David and bless him. Kenny? Yeah, I mean, what, what, um, re to reiterate what Charles said and add on to it is <clears throat> his ability to understand the global game and understand how basketball was more than just a, uh, a, a uh, culture game of America. Uh, he understood how to introduce it um, to the world, you know, obviously with the dream team being the first part of it uh, and carrying on and so forth and so forth. So, um, and, but just a, a person who that every time, I don't know, Chuck, every time you would seem like you were, uh, every time you're with him, rather, I'm not just seeing he's not still here, but every time you're with him, it feels like you learn something. He says like one thing about business or about the game or about strategy that you go, man, I never looked at it that way. Right. So that, that's what, you know, the most enjoying and enjoyable part of being around Commissioner Stern. He's what you would call a visionary. In 1984, he envisioned all that's going on now. Europe, China, big TV contracts, free agency, guys being able to, you know, pick and control where they go. And he was a great man. I knew in 1991 when I shook his hand, I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm finally here. Because, you know, for all of us as a kid, yeah. you want to make it to the NBA. Before you get to the NBA, you got to shake the commissioner's hand. You got to shake his hand. So, take that know, picture when I first shook his hand, I was like, wow. But I will tell I'm you, here. Uh, like I said, I did a lot of stupid stuff when I was young. It's terrifying being in his office. See, I never had that uh, experience. Oh, like, Kenny. Like on the other end of I, I, But see, I think Ernie's had it. Because he's tough on TV uh, yes. people, too. Yes. Yep. But, man, I've been in that office, I think, four times. And it is terrifying. But I told you, at the end of the meeting, he said, son, just at some point, you know, you got to grow up. And, 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 and he, but he always, like you said, he always made me feel better at the end. He even though he had chewed me out yeah. for 30 minutes at the end, like he said, hey, you're going to be fine. Just learn from this. And we talk about his, uh, his vision and his scope for the game and, and going outside of borders. And, and on this night in which a game is played in Mexico City, uh, again, as that series yeah. continues, that's, uh, that's all the work of, of David Stern.